Did you know that wolves have footpads that are thermoregulated independently from the rest of their bodies? They keep their pads just above the tissue freezing point when they come in contact with snow. I'm your host, Romy Casanino, and I'm a conservation scientist, writer, and photographer. Every episode, we'll be introducing you to new animals caught on camera traps around the world. Don't forget to subscribe to Mongo Day to get notifications about our latest videos. Grey wolves are the ancestor of all domestic dog breeds and they are the largest member of the dog family. They are native to North America and Eurasia and inhabit many habitats, from Arctic tundra to forests, prairies and arid landscapes, and from sea level up to 3,000 meters. Because wolves are one of the most wide-ranging land animals, there are more than 30 recognized subspecies. Despite their name, grey wolves are not always grey. They have a variety of coat colors, including black, brown and white. Wolves have longer legs than other species of canids. This makes walking on snow a lot easier. Grey wolves are highly intelligent and social animals. They live in nuclear family groups called packs, which are typically composed of an alpha pair and their pups. The number of wolves in a pack depends upon habitat and abundance of prey, but can range from 2 to 36 individuals. However, 6 to 10 are most common. Wolves are monogamous, so mated pairs usually stay together for life. Females are capable of producing a litter every year averaging seven pups. Wolf pups are born blind and deaf, and it's not until the second week that they open their beautiful blue eyes for the first time. After 10 to 54 months, when pups usually reach sexual maturity or there is competition for food within the pack, they may leave to form their own packs. Packs usually cover an average of 25 kilometers per day in search of prey, usually hoofed animals. Wolves mark their territories through scent marking and howling. In some areas, wolf howls can be heard over 130 square kilometers. Wolves are apex predators and are considered ecosystem engineers, as they not only regulate the population of their prey animals, like deer, but also modify the landscape through their influence on grazers. Grey wolves' historical range has been reduced to about one-third, mainly due to hunting because they prey on farmers' livestock and because of fear of attacks on humans. Habitat destruction and the loss of their prey base is also a huge threat to their populations. Fortunately, in some of its former habitats, the wolf is making a successful comeback due to strong conservation efforts and reintroduction plans. In the next episode, we'll be meeting our closest cousin, who we share between 95 and 98% of our DNA with. Tell us in the comments if you know what animal it is. See you next time. Mango Bay.